Stage 1. Upon being exposed to SCP-3312, affected individuals will display a peaked interest in anthropomorphic characters in mainstream media, including but not limited to brand mascots, animated cartoons and games, and serial box art. Stage 2. Affected individuals will initiate their participation in the furry community. Contributions to the community may be made, including the creation of a fictional anthropomorphic animal character designed to represent oneself, known as a fursona, digital and or traditional art featuring anthropomorphic animals, and forum-based role-playing games involving the aforementioned characters. Stage 3. Affected individuals will actively seek out internet users who openly share negative views on the furry community and introduce them to SCP-3312. Stage 4. Behavioral development devolves in tandem with shifting verbal communication. All recorded instances have assumed the role of a prepubescent child for the duration of the stage. Stage 4 induces a complete devotion to the furry community and, in all cases, has negatively altered relationships between the affected individuals and their finances, social interactions, employment, familial relations, and living situation. Stage 5. Affected individuals will suffer the delusion that they themselves are an anthropomorphic character and will perpetuate this delusion by any means necessary. Stage 6. Affected individuals will undergo a total loss of higher cognitive functions and regress to instinctual behaviors displayed by the source animal of their personal character. All signs of prior personality will be destroyed by SCP-3312. However, affected individuals will continue to possess human speech, albeit characterized by childlike pronunciations and heightened pitch. All test results have yielded that the speech uttered by affected individuals can be likened to animal vocalizations instead of processed human speech. All I wanted to do was play with you. Please come and play with me. I am so lonely. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? Don't be afraid. Come with me. I will show you where I play hide and seek. Do you want to play hide and seek? You hide and I'll find you. You're going to die in there. Don't say I didn't warn you. I know things no one knows. You're going to die. Help me. I'm begging you. Can you help me? I'm coming for you. I'm going to be there, watching you. I will get to you. I will find you. I didn't see this as a threat, so he screamed at me before I blew I don't want to play alone, but when I cry, I hear a groan.
I woke up to a blinding light on me. I threw up on the ground. I saw a little red light showing the camera was on, and I heard over a microphone the Russian speak. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening we'll have a very special guest. He's finally awake. We can now begin. I looked in front of me to see a large TV screen. It had a chat log and I knew what it was from. I started reading all the things they wanted to be done to me. One wanted me to be punctured with a drill. Another wanted my legs to be ribboned with a knife. I saw one man with a mask on come close with a drill. I knew what was about to happen. Rule 4 came into my mind as he tore my clothes off, leaving me naked. He bent me over and turned me around and inserted the drill and I winced. Then it went. The pain was so intense. It burned. I gripped my thumbs and my fist and I tried to bear it. Finally, I screamed in pain so loud, eyes filling with tears. I felt the flesh inside of me tear, but soon easy as my muscles were now gone. I began to wonder if I would live through this. He pulled out the drill eventually. By the end, it didn't hurt as bad for some reason, but blood was pouring down my leg. I couldn't focus with my eyes. I tried to and finally when I did, I saw a different masked man come in with a cheese grater and began slowly moving it back and forth over my knees. The pain from the drill was so much worse than the pain I was feeling here, but I still groaned in pain. Mostly I was shocked watching the skin peel away, then it moved down to the bone quickly. He did one, then the other. I could no longer make out what the chat log wanted. I was feeling faint from the blood loss. They came out with the car battery and broke it open. They poured the liquid acid right on my knees and then the pain, oh god, it began to eat through my bones I broke. I screamed to get it off. I fought against the chains. I yelled it to the Russian guy to just kill me. My rules were simple, but never would have worked. They came in with the garden cutters. They grabbed my hands and put it over my thumb. They were dull. He kept pressing. I screamed so loud. Kill me, kill me. The cutters broke through the skin and began to slowly move through the bone. The other man came in with a flat head. He began prying off my fingernails. The pain was so horrifying. I heard my bone snap in my thumb and finally the cutters went through and my thumb was off.
Um, okay, well, what we're thinking of as, as aliens are, they're, uh, they're, they're extra-dimensional beings that an earlier precursor of the, um, the space program made contact with. Uh, they, they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of, uh, uh, Oh, my God.